What's up you guys, welcome to XJ Jesse's channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the spark plugs on your X300. So let's get to it. Change the spark plugs on a cold motor working on a hot engine could damage the spark plug threads. Use a T30 turn with a coil cover. Use a 8mm socket to remove the coil bolts. You can either leave the ignition coil hanging or unplug it. Use a 5 8 magnet socket to remove the spark plugs. It's usually recommended to replace the spark plugs every 12,000 miles. It's common to find oil on the spark plug threads on older vehicles. The reason why this problem occurs is from worn spark plug o-ring seals. I have a video on how to replace the valve cover gasket and seals so you can find it in the X300 playlist. Check it out if your spark plugs is covered with oil. There's multiple discussions on what type and brand spark plugs you should use. Most X300 owners prefer the original copper champion spark plugs. I personally like NGK platinum plugs. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're more resistant to wear and last longer. On my XJR6, I prefer NGK Iradium. They come pre-gap and ready to be installed, but NGK Platinum is also fine. It's always okay to upgrade, but never downgrade to the least expensive plugs. Before installing the new spark plugs, make sure to check the gap. The recommended gap is 0.035 inches. Using a coin gauge, slightly move the spark plug across the coin to check the measurements. Use the top of the coin to pry it open if needed. If you go over the recommendation measurements, slightly tap the spark plug on a hard flat surface to close the gap and check again. NGK uses a special coating on the threads and recommend you not to use NICs, but if you're using another brand of spark plugs, then I recommend you using a small dab of NICs to prevent it from getting stuck on the engine. Torque down the spark plugs at 15 to 20 foot pounds or until they're snug. Put a small amount of dielectric grease on the ignition coils to prevent moisture from getting inside and causing corrosion. Follow the same procedure for the rest of the spark plugs. When installing the ignition coil bolts, hand tighten them. Over tighten them with a ratchet could damage the thread. Real quick you guys, I want to show you the difference between an aftermarket coil and an original Lucas brand. You can see that the aftermarket sticks out. The coil works, but you have to tighten the bolts a little more than usual and that could damage the threads. Just be careful. <laughs> 